so today I'm vlogging because I'm going to be riding Cal and jumping him over like little little um, kind of cavaletti kind of things so I made up a little course it's behind me you can see they're just like um, only one side up at the moment and I'll see how he is he's very quite like he's quite spooky about poles he like wouldn't be confident just like going for them straight away so that's why I want to have them quite small so if he has a good look he can still just walk over them like flying you know he's not gonna hit his legs or anything so I'm gonna see how he is hopefully he's good he's been doing a lot of race trotting pulls so he's definitely used to going over them now but sometimes when things change and it's in a different position he's like oh I've never seen this before when he definitely has <laughs> so yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing with him today and I'm just gonna go get him now um, I'm also gonna bring Welbeck in and just check her over just because she hasn't been in in a while and yeah that's it so I'll gonna go get him now and I'll see you then so I have Cal here with me um, he has very muddy legs so I'm gonna have to hose them off now um, lately Cal has just become like my favorite horse ever he's gotten so like he's so affectionate and he just like loves the hugs and he's like a big like puppy I just love him so much <laughs> So yeah, my little baby. He's actually also grown like a bit. He's now like 16 hands and like a hat, like a bit. So he's still growing. He's only just turned four. So yeah, but he's just like such a good brain. He's really come on a lot lately. I'm really proud of him. So today on Cal, I decided to do a small course of Cavaletti type jumps. So just very, very small verticals. So Cal is quite careful and a little bit wary of poles. And we've really gotten poles on the ground down. Like he is so good. He, any poles, he'll go over whole course poles. He's perfect. But the minute they go up, he's a bit like, hmm, I suddenly don't know how to horse. So yeah. He maybe needs to get over that if he's going to be a show jumper. <laughs> so today I just made them very, very small. I just wanted to get them over. I just wanted to do a little course of them. So I'm continuously cantering around, changing the rain, jumping over them. Like the rhythm staying the same. Everything's very regular. And he just kind of realizes that he can do this. You know, they're literally 40 centimeters off the ground. <laughs> Danger. 
There where he kind of messed up the stride to the pole, I really, really don't mind. I love to just have a bit of leg on, a slight contact in the reins and let them figure out where their feet is. If I'm like putting him in the correct place every single time from the from when he's really young, he'll never learn to kind of figure out his own feet and think about what he's doing. He can't be relying on me to tell him what to do all the time. You know, he has a brain as small as it is. He needs to use it. So yeah, I start off with only one side up just so that if he does um, slow down and want to walk, he can still walk over them without hitting his legs or having any sort of negative impact on him. So, but I was pleasantly surprised and he was absolutely super. He just went straight over it with it halfway up and I did the whole course with them just half up and then I put them up fully to little verticals and he was absolutely super, just cantered over all of them. He did one or two flying changes throughout the day, but I did try to just bring him back to trot and do a simple change because I don't want to push him for those lead changes and then he loses them, his balance. Um, but yeah, he was absolutely super. He was forward, but still quite careful, having a look. Um, no fear of him hitting them or anything like that. And he stayed very balanced. His turns were very good. He wasn't falling out or in. He was quite straight. All in all, I'm absolutely delighted with him. He was he was a very grown-up boy today, especially after having the last week off because I'm at college. I just lunged him yesterday, and then today was my first time riding him in a week, as I was saying, and he was super. He never really gets fresh. He's just more forward, which is actually quite nice. So that's why I don't do too much of a warm-up on him because he does get tired quite easily, especially as he's so young and not very fit. So yeah. So I'm just after it riding Cal now and I'll have done a voiceover and everything so you know like how he went. But he was so good. I actually love him so much. It's just, he's just so good and he's just such a trier and he just always wants to do his best, don't you? Oh yeah, at the end, um, when I was walking him off, my dad was like rubbing him and stuff and he like really likes humans. He really, he always follows them around and stuff. And it's actually probably because we had to bottle feed him when he was a foal and before he got his a foster mare. So he just like has a really good like relationship with people. He's trying to eat me at the moment. Um, so yeah, and my dad was like walking around and Cal was just following him the whole way around. And then my dad like jumped over a pole and Cal just stepped over it. But then my dad went over one of the little like Cavaletti verticals and Cal like slowly walked up. Oh my God, Cal, relax. And Cal just like slowly walked up and was like, okay, I guess um, if dad went over, I can go over it too. And he just like, oh my God, you're the worst. <laughs> Um, and then he just like stepped over it and he it was really really funny and really cute Thanks Cal, that's beautiful. I really love your slobber all over my face uh, He's too cute like how could you give out to a face like that anyway Anyway, I'm gonna tack or finish unpacking him and do his stretches. So yeah, Now his stretches are all done and he's getting his feed. He's a super boy and he deserves it, don't you Cal? His very, very dirty Mackey rug. <laughs> it's holding up well though and it didn't rub out his mane at all, which is pretty good. good. Yeah. He actually doesn't like going out to the field. He always stops and won't go out in the cage. He likes, he knows that the food is in the yard and that the field is a bit muddy at the moment. So he doesn't like it too much. Don't you not? Ooh, he's got a crazy face. 
so I will back in now and I'm just gonna give her legs a hose and see what they're like. She's kind of prone to mud rash, especially on her back legs because they're white and then white legs has pink skin which is um, more sensitive especially to things like mud rash. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a look and see what they're like. And also the last time she was in she had a kind of like it was similar to green skull but it was underneath her rug. It was just a bit of like a bacterial kind of infection. So she had a few little scabs. So I'm going to see how that is and I bought some antibacterial and antifungal shampoo so I might give her a wash with that just to make sure it's all gone and then stick a cooler on her and feed her in a stable and then when she's dry I can stick her rug back on and put her out in the field. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. Now my back is all washed um, on her back and I was just laughing because yeah, my back's all washed and look at the dirt of her neck. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, her back is all washed with the medicated shampoo and she's eating her feed now. So I'm gonna wash her every weekend when I come home from college until her back is all cleared up. And in better news, her feet are so good. Last, the last two uh, winters, we've had some problem with her feet. She's prone to getting cracks and stuff, but we like really tried to up her nutrition and we gave her loads of supplements and everything as well as like um, being shod and, and getting her feet like paired even so she had no shoes on so yeah um, they're like perfect there are no cracks really really good so I'm delighted with that and her mud rash actually isn't that bad and um, there's just a few little scabs but that's it once one year she got it really really bad but unfortunately there's nothing I can really do because she's out in the field all day it's not like I can, get, I can bring her into the stable and like literally leave her in the stable 24 hours a day every day that would be so mean especially because she's not even being ridden like she would just be in the stable like I couldn't do that obviously um so she just has to be out in the field and there's nothing you can really do like feel like I live in Ireland it rains all the time fields get mucky and that's just kind of life um it never really gets too bad like she's not like sore on, on it or anything um so yeah that's that's our Irish life <laughs> so yeah I'm just gonna wait for her to finish her feed and then put her out so that's kind of it for today I hope you enjoyed it so leave a like, comment and subscribe if you want to and I'll see you next time. Bye!